The release of the Xbox Series X is a month away, and Microsoft claims that it is the fastest and most powerful Xbox ever. With such a statement, gamers have high expectations for the console. As of now, the Xbox Series X seems impressive, but is it worth the money? Well, let's compare the Series X to the One X and see which console is worth your money. And if you already own an Xbox One X, let's see if it's worth the upgrade. Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions. I'm your host, Lindsay Ivan, and voice of reason for today's video, which is the Xbox Series X and the Xbox One. Should you upgrade? The Xbox Series X is expected to launch on November 10th of this year for a price of $499 US dollars. Of course, on top of that, maybe you want to buy new games and maybe even new controllers, meaning you could potentially end up spending a lot of money on this new system. But what's in store for this system? What makes it the fastest, most powerful Xbox ever, as they claim? Well, the next gen console has a lot of promises to gamers, such as enhanced graphics, faster load times, and better storage and game processing. All the essentials needed for fluid gameplay. Let's start off by comparing the design of the Series X to the One X. Microsoft has really changed the design for this one. It's designed as a standing unit, but it can be laid down on its side too. But it's much larger compared to the One X meaning you'll need a bigger space for it. Now, one of the main reasons why it's larger in size is because of its airflow channels and heat dissipation. The Xbox Series X is built with three airflow channels. This is said to evenly distribute the temperature to keep the console cool and quiet. It's also built with a better vapor chamber, which enables an even spread of temperatures within the core, according to Microsoft. It also has a split motherboard, which again, helps to keep the console's internal temperature even and controlled increasing the reliability of the console's performance. So basically, you can look forward to not worrying about your console overheating or have to listen to the hum of the noisy internal fans. The Xbox One X can get noisy at times, but that's still not a deal breaker. Moving on, let's compare the specs of the two consoles. Not gonna lie, the Xbox Series X has some very impressive specs. The Series X comes with a custom 8-core AMD processor running up to 3.8 gigahertz per core. The One X also has a custom 8-core AMD processor, but runs at a maximum of 2.3 gigahertz per core, meaning the Series X is four times faster and powerful. Same goes for its GPU. It's got a 12 teraflop GPU. The One X has only a six teraflop GPU, making the Series X twice as powerful as the One X. On top of that, it's got a very impressive storage system. The Series X uses solid state drive storage, SSD. According to Microsoft, this was designed around sustained performance and not peak performance. Let me explain what they mean by this. Many other consoles' performance will decline as they heat up, but the Series X will stay strong and consistent. Their SSD storage also promises faster read and write transfers. Games will load faster and there will be quick resume between multiple games. So basically, you'll be able to pause a game, start up another game, and then go back to the original pause game within seconds. So you can jump between multiple games at once without having to close any. The console is said to be able to access 2.4 gigabytes of data per second, which is around 40 times better than what the Xbox One can do. You can also buy storage expansion cards so you can have even more hard drive space. One X is expanded through USB 3.0 external drives for the Series X is 3.1. Sounding pretty impressive so far. Now all of these play a key factor in the graphics. If they have speedy load time, aren't going to overheat and can handle a lot, that means the games aren't going to glitch and freeze in the middle of gameplay. We're looking at a machine that seems very promising so far. Because of its high specs, it means that it is powerful enough to support ray tracing technology. Essentially, ray tracing is used to make the lighting in the game more realistic. It tracks the way light travels around the environment, having it bounce or reflect off the surfaces in different ways. It also creates realistic shadows. This is huge. The Xbox One X does not support this feature. Let's talk more about gameplay and graphics. I have to say, I've watched some of the gameplay footage and I'm impressed. The graphics are a big improvement. Microsoft showed off gameplay from 13 games that will be available for the console. And these trailers show off the enhanced graphics. You got 8K resolution, the impressive ray tracing lighting effects, and faster speeds and shorter load times, which all contribute to a more immersive experience. In fact, there was a video demonstration that compared load times between the two consoles. The loading times for the games 
State of Decay 2 in the Series X was 9 seconds. For the same game in the One X, it took 1 minute. That's an insane time jump. Furthermore, as Xbox says on their website, and I quote, Direct X-ray tracing delivers true to life lighting, shadows, and accurate reflections to create dynamic living worlds. Then we also got 3D spatial audio, which they claim is the next evolution in audio technology. They use advanced algorithms to create immersive lifelike worlds that put you at the center of the experience, according to Microsoft. Like I mentioned before, the Series X has a custom GPU with 12 teraflops of power. Basically, it's the most powerful graphics processing chip in any console as of now. Yeah, even more powerful than its competitor, the PS5, which is what helps the graphics look more detailed and lifelike. I should also mention that the Series X not only has backwards capability, but it also has forwards capability. So basically, you'll be able to play games from previous generations on this console. But then Microsoft also created something known as smart delivery. Basically, this allows you to buy a game for the Xbox One and get a version for the Xbox Series X included. This only applies to compatible games though. So if you can't afford the Series X console, you can still buy a Series X game and have it work with your One X. Then if you do upgrade, you can play that game on your Series X. Your save data will be carried back and forth with you. Just Obviously, the best version of the game will be on the Series X. It's also great that your Xbox One controllers will be compatible with the Series X and vice versa, so you don't have to spend additional money on the accessories, unless you want to. After comparing the two systems, it seems clear that the Series X is in the lead. Nothing can compete with the immersive graphics and fast loading times. Now here's the thing, if you do buy the Series X, as soon as it comes out, you're basically one of the guinea pigs. Sure, it's been tested a number of times, but there's bound to be at least one thing that goes wrong. Wrong. So maybe wait it out, let other people figure out all the bugs first, and then get one after all that's been sorted out. In the end, it's up to you. If your Xbox One X is still going strong, maybe stick with that system. If there's nothing wrong with it, maybe you don't need an upgrade, especially if you only game frequently. But if you're a really hardcore gamer, then I feel like the Series X is the system for you. Let me know in the comments below, are you planning on getting the Series X or are you planning on getting the PS5? And with that being said, let's move on to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments for my video, what if Donald Trump passes away from COVID? Baby SCP682 commented, what if the Simpsons are right? Honestly, the Simpsons have been right about a lot of things so far, which is really creepy, so who knows? Robert Baratheon commented, bagels, bagels, bagels. That's what would happen. I had a bagel this morning with cream cheese. It was very good. Comment down below your favorite bagel. Ataku Gaming commented, you're traveling into FBI watch list territory. Honestly, they're probably already stalking me if I'm being honest. AA Roblox Movies commented, lol, they wrote Donald Trump at the beginning of the video. I went back and there was a spelling error and it said Donald Trump trunk, which is actually hilarious. I love that, but that was not on purpose, I swear. And that's all the comments I'm showing up for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Life's Biggest Questions for more thought-provoking videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and stay curious, YouTube. And today I'll be discussing you, no, but runs at a max of 2.3 gigahertz per but runs at a max of 2.3 gigahertz per perk. Oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm so sorry. Let me, let me, to create immersive lifelike world, which is what helps make the graphic, makes, helps makes, help, which is what help makes.